in specific ice vanilla latte. So I know hacks videos are super popular and a lot of you guys like those. And I know a lot of you guys like coffee, so why don't we do a coffee hacks video, am I right? <laughs> so I came up with about 10 coffee hacks for you guys, give or take a few. And they're just things to make your life easier when it comes to coffee, or just tips that you didn't know about coffee, or just fun coffee filled stuff. It's going to be a great video, I'm so excited. This is actually going to be a hacks collab video with my girl Nicole Jacqueline, and she wanted to say a few words to you guys. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, kind of, almost, you're almost there. So my name is Nicole, and on my channel I am doing some school hacks for you guys you guys need to try out. These hacks are so helpful and will help you have an amazing school year. I am so excited for you guys to watch this video today. So definitely come check out my channel after you watch Danielle's video. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Joel speaking. How may I help you? Hi Joel, can I have a double espresso please? Sure, a double Adobe espresso. What else for you? That's it. All right, I'll have a photo for you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Here's your Adobe espresso. Amazing, thank you so much. Have a good day. You too, bye bye. just something fun to do. You can take those two espresso shots that you got from Starbucks and you can freeze them and then use them to make a latte in the future. Just add some milk and ice and you're good to go. As we all know, coffee gets the bad rep for sometimes making your teeth a little bit more yellow than you'd like just because you might drink it a lot or whatever, so they say that it's better to drink coffee with a straw if you can. I usually get lattes, so it's not a problem. Ice lattes are amazing. They also say you can drink water directly after having your coffee and it kind of cleanses out your system and your teeth to get rid of that stain. So there's this thing called a coffee nap. Basically, you drink your cup of coffee or latte right before taking a short 15 minute nap. And this is for if you get tired throughout the day. And then when you wake up, you should feel energized and good because you had caffeine and a little nap. Pretty cool, right? Oh my gosh, hey Megan. Oh hey Dan, what's going on? Oh actually, I'm just leaving. I responded to some emails, had my morning coffee. <sighs> oh man. I can tell, um, I got up. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, no. I'm just looking out for you guys. Coffee can definitely make you have a little bit of a bad breath or a coffee breath. So to combat that, make sure to always have gum or breath spray immediately after you have some. <laughs> Don't you hate when your iced coffee or iced latte gets watered down from the ice? Well, not anymore. We're going to make some coffee ice cubes. So literally just brew some coffee. I had my dad help me. <laughs> and um, then once you're done with that, you just simply pour it into some ice cube trays. I literally got these from the dollar store for like nothing. And you just disperse that throughout the ice cube tray. And then you have some coffee ice cubes. You just put them in the freezer overnight or however long it takes for you. I had, again, my dad helped me do this because he wanted to be a part of the video, so thanks dad, you're the best. And I think he was also kind of just intrigued by this. <laughs> and then the next morning I woke up and I had gotten a latte, but I was starting to get a little watered down, but I still wanted to drink it. So I took out my coffee ice cubes. They looked super cute. I love it. It's just so cool to me. And I just plopped them into my latte so that when the ice started to melt, it was just even more coffee. Don't you love it? It's great. Don't suffer through a bitter cup of coffee. Instead, add a pinch of salt. The saltiness counteracts the bitterness and gives the coffee a smoother taste. So, what'd you think? Did you guys like the video? I hope you did. <laughs> if you did...